This is another uh, video on how to stretch prime canvas, which is this guy here, prime, onto stretcher strips. And what I've given you today, I have 12 by 16, 12, uh, 16. And what we've done with our prime canvas, we've allowed two and a quarter inches all the way around. And that'll be enough to fold over here. So two and a quarter, two and a quarter, two and a quarter, two and a quarter, and two and a quarter. So my tools, canvas stretching pliers and a staple gun, of course, and basswood stretcher strips made by Sun Kim Industries uh, in Canada. And so let's uh, begin. So we know that we've taken, um, what we try to use is use our shortest side. This is the, uh, this way. This is our longest side going this way. So what we'll do, uh, we'll tack. Now, when you have uh, pictures and you've traveled and you've bought a canvas and you want to uh, put it on stretcher strips, this is the method uh, to use. So take uh, your staple gun and just put in one staple on the middle, about the middle, okay? That'll give you, so we pulled it over, a stretch canvas, and we're gonna put one staple inside. So now we go to the opposite sides. We always start with opposite sides, okay? Like that, okay? We get our canvas pliers, and our canvas pliers, what they'll do is they'll pull the canvas from one side over to the other so that we have a good tension uh, with the canvas plier. Okay, so now that we've pulled it across, okay, again, now what we need to do here is just put in one staple. Okay, that'll be enough. And again, it's about approximately the center. Now we're going to go to the opposite side here, and we pull it here. We fold it over, okay? Just pull it a little bit, fold it over, and use our canvas pliers, okay? And they'll pull the canvas for us. Just grab it here on the sides. And just pull it over. And then once you have that tension through the middle, okay, and you can just staple it, put in one staple there. And then you go to the opposite side, okay, on this side, just give it a little pull, turn your canvas. Use your canvas pliers. That'll pull it tight. Okay. Just give it a little pull here. Pull it over, make sure it's tight here, okay, and then just come with one staple, and that'll give you your four sides. And you can see there's some tension lines or a diamond shape here and here. So then we come again uh, on the long side here, okay, so you can use either side, right, and then just pull the canvas down so that gives you some tightness here and again once you've done that put your finger here and put a staple in there okay. and then you can continue uh, 
with that all the way down along the side here. And then you go to the, go from this side to go to the opposite side. So just turn it around here. Okay. And again, grab your canvas pliers, pull it here, pull the whole corner down. Okay. Just grab that whole thing and pull it down. Okay. And once you've got your tension. Put another staple in there, and you can put another staple in here, and you can put another staple in here, maybe about an inch and a half apart. So it's beginning to come together as a, as a very nicely stretched canvas. Okay. So now we've got a shorter side here. Here, as you can see, here and here. Okay, we're going to come down on the longest. Uh, this is the longest side. Again, we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to pull the canvas over. We have our canvas pliers. Grab the corner. This is a small canvas, so your operating area is, is a little tighter. Okay, but give it a pull. Okay. And once you've done that, come over, put a staple, okay? And then you can come to this little edge here and give it another staple. And on the other one, you know, give it another staple, okay? Now we're going to come to the opposite side again. All right, here's our staples here. We're going to come all the way down this side. So again, opposites, side. We're going to pull this down. So we got this here. Pull this down. Grab hold of it. Once you get your tension, put a staple in. Put another one. And then remember, one more inch and a half across there. So we have inch and a half, inch and a half, inch and a half. Okay. And now we're going to come back to the shortest side and close that off because, as you can see, here it's not closed off, and on the opposite side it's not closed off. So we need to close those sides off. So we're going to grab this canvas pliers again, okay, and pull this. Okay, pull the canvas towards you. Okay. You make adjustments as you work. Okay, and then you come over, and then you take your one staple. Remember, you have a little section here, okay, and one more here, and one more here, here, and then remember, it's an inch and a half approximately going down, and then we have another one here. Okay. Now we come to the opposite side again, which was over here. Okay. So we got this side done. We're going to come to this side here and finish this off. So we're going to pull the canvas with our canvas pliers here. We're going to pull it. Don't be afraid of it. Just pull it. Okay. And then when you feel you got enough tension, you come over, get your staple gun, one, two, and again, you're going to come into your corner this way. These are corners, one, two, three, four corners, and then we're going to close off with the staple gun here, and then we'll do one more. This is going to inch and a half. Yeah. Okay, so we've done that. So we're all closed off, okay, on the shortest side. And that looks very nice and smooth there. So what we need to continue, of course, is with the sides. 
So we'll finish on this longest side. We'll finish on this longest side coming this way. This way here. We'll grab our canvas pliers. Again, we'll pull it. Pull it towards you. You'll feel the tension. Okay. And then you just hold it over. Put your staple in. Okay. And then move to the corner. And then put your other staple in. Okay. And you have one. Here. So approximately, approximately an inch and a half apart. Now, some people close off corners differently. So you have these little dog ears in the corners. So we'll close those off in a second. Okay, we've got to do the far one more side here, which is the, sh uh, the longest side we're closing off here. Again, canvas pliers, pull it across. You'll feel the tension this way. And once you've done that, you pull the canvas, staple, staple, Okay, so now your canvas looks, it's got a nice tympan, or like a drum, drum to it, you can hear that, okay. Now you've got the dog ears, and some people close this off differently, okay, but with this one here, what we can do, we can just go to the edge, now some people close this off, what I mean by dog ears, uh, they have these little pieces, so some people say, how do I close this off? There's a number of ways, but just fold it over at the end here, okay, and just put your staple in, okay, then go to the other side here, okay, on this side, put your staple in there, okay, and then what you need, and you can just come this way here. Okay, now what you've got is your ears, okay, so all you need to do here, you pull it up, and at the same time you're tightening the corner here, so just do this, fold it over, and tighten it down, okay, and I usually put one, two, and then come to your opposite side, again, you got the dog ear, just pull it up, and over, one, two, okay, so you've got two sides done, you come up and do the far side, again the dog ears, fold it over, and then down, one, two, and then you've got the far side here, pull up, and then over, just, you can see it's there, so just pull it up. Now what I like about this method is that if there's any loose part in the corner, you pull it up, you see, and you're tightening your corner uh, like that. So you've got now your canvas done. Okay. So whether you have a painting or you have a can, uh, just a canvas you want to stretch, it's already done. It's got nice tympan, as you can see, and it's very easily done. You see. You can see the back is closed off. It's ready uh, for frame.